Alright guys, and welcome to another uh, tornado mod tutorial kind of thing. A lot of you are asking how I get that debug menu up, where I can like control the storms directly. <clears throat> Force tornadoes, spawn storms, change, change the level, see when it's going to rain, all that stuff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. If you've watched my other video, where you how you install the tornado uh, tornado mod, then it should be a pretty simple thing to do. It's in the configuration file, so you're just going to go back to percent percent app data and then back into dot minecraft um, and if you've run the mod at least once and everything's working fine you'll get the configuration folder and then you'll see the mod loader and then you see mod weather and extended renderer that's also something where if you're getting like the weird raindrops then you change that in extended render I guess I can might as well show you some of you complain that like the rain is weird and you don't actually see the raindrops that's because of smooth rain um, you just want to change that to false. Smooth rain needs to be false instead of true. But what we're going to do is you're going to go into the mod weather configuration folder. I recommend using Notepad++, but you can also use the basic Notepad or any other program that you use to open these files. Default is um, Notepad. There's all sorts of configurations that you can mess with that decide like how often it rains, how often it storms, um, how many tornadoes can form at once, do you want to have the fired tornadoes because those are in the game, which I probably should change, and then like rarity of lightning, blah blah blah, all sorts of stuff, editing the particles. So you guys can come in here that might be having like problems with lag. Maybe you don't need the leaves in the air and the sand particles blowing around, so you guys can turn those to false. But you're going to look for the line um, 18, it says debug, it's at false, no I'm sorry, this is my current settings. Debug is on is by default on false. What you're going to do is you're going to change debug to true. So debug equals true. That's what you're going to change in the settings. You're going to go ahead and save that. Exit out. Close everything down. Load back up Minecraft. You're going to load back up Minecraft. Um, go into the world. And then the magic button is the plus sign on your numpad. Now, for this is only for Windows. I don't know how this is going to work for Mac, so sorry again, Mac users, but on your keyboard, you've got like those little, the, it's just got like the, the set numbers, the nine numbers, and it's usually all the way over to the right. It's got like num lock and stuff. Well, there's the enter key, and then above that's the big plus sign. If you press that, it'll bring it up. Um, rain is counting down to when it's going to rain again. Same with the thunder. It shows your storm time. You can turn on and off smooth rain. You can force tornado spawn storms, change the next stages. If you press debug info, it'll keep it up the entire time. And it also talks, whoa, that got dark. It also brings up like about winds because you know, you also have the wind. You could have just wind storms and stuff and for hurricanes and such like that. So you can press it again. Um, and the way to get out of it is to click close once you get it up because you can't do anything else until you click close. Um, so plus close. Now, if you don't, if you're using like a laptop and you don't have a numpad on it, I don't know what, how you would do that. It might be, the, just might be the plus key in general. You can try to hit another enter key. You guys can look it up, contact the mod user, uh, because by default it's a numpad. And I don't know how to change that. If any of you do, great comment to put a comment below to help other people who don't have that on their laptop or if they're using a Mac. Because once again, I don't mods are weird on the Mac, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Thank you for watching. I figured I'd put this up really, really quick for you guys to see. Um, and yeah, hope you guys, that answers a bunch of questions. I'll be getting plenty of comments and uh, private messages. Sorry, I didn't respond to them. I was just going to put up a video to answer that. So here you go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.